<laughs> yes, and you brought a guest with you today. Let's introduce Chris I here. I did. I brought my alter ego, and he is, uh, he is just about the most wonderful interior designer in Rochester. Um, I have great admiration for this uh, for this man. We've worked together for many years on many projects, and his name is Christopher Marcotte. Hi, Chris. Good morning. Everybody. Got to get real close here. You two. Now, Happy here's Saturday. the best part: if you two are alter egos, you got to share the yeah, mics. Well, you got to kind of scrunch in really, <laughs> really good. <laughs> Chris, tell yeah. us a little bit about yourself. I am an interior designer, like Lana said. Um, I've uh, done lots of projects with Lana. We've done uh, some Homerama things, some uh, shows for Channel 13 in the morning. Um, and right now I'm a designer at Best Tile. Best Tile? Yeah, Best Tile, yeah. Where are they? Uh, and they're on Empire Boulevard. Um, I, I help people choose their kitchens and bath selections, that sort of thing. And how'd you get into this? So it's like when I was six years old, I know what I want to do. Or well, you do? know, when I was six years old, I was actually changing my bedroom around a lot, driving, really? my, driving my parents nuts. Every ah, time I turned ah. around, they were like, you know, you want to paint it again, and you yeah. want it, yeah, that sort of thing. So well, I always, yeah. You've known Chris since he was six? No. Oh. No, but I have the same background. I did the same thing. Oh, okay. changed my, I, yeah. I used to make deals with my mother. Uh, if if I could go to the dance, I'll paint the kitchen cupboards inside for you, Mom. Wow. And that was and, you too? Right. <laughs> yeah, and then I started moving. As I got a little older, I started moving the house around. Yeah, and then the, my parents just sort of let me do the. Nice. You know, the Not many so. people are doing what they always wanted to do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you must have had cool. a few jobs along the way that made you think, I can't be doing this forever. I got to get into my true right. love. I tried a couple of other things. Yeah, I actually was a manager for a TJ Maxx store on Candagua. Mm-hmm. Did a couple of retail things like that. Um, always had the most beautiful store I was say, in the it's district. Beautifully designed. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Always. Yeah. You know, I yeah. loved the, the, yeah. the home portion of it, uh-huh. and the furniture department always looked pretty. Pretty amazing, the you know. Best. We were sort of known. Mm-hmm. Actually, I started. Um, they flew me to New York once just to to uh, help the uh, New York store. Oh, really? That's design awesome. their store. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, because yeah. the store looks so good. So that was, hmm. you know, it's kind of fun to do that sort of thing. And how did you two hook up? Channel Thirteen brought us together. Uh, I had met uh, some of the people from Channel Thirteen. They admired one of my Homerama houses, and that was back in oh my gosh, two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand, and it was way back ten mm. ten years ago, and then. Uh, HGTV was becoming so popular, they decided they would do a spinoff on the morning show. And they approached me, and they approached Chris. Yes, yeah, so Doug Emblidge and I are friends. So yeah. that's, ah, that's okay. sort of, I've do, I, uh, designed his house and most of every room in his house. So that uh, that's sort, sort of how that happened. Yeah, No, not no, the one in Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Prior to yeah, the, I know. Okay, Bristol gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So I've done the one in, in, uh, in Bristol. Oh. I've helped him with that. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of, you know, he kind of... Kind of throws the ball up in the air and yeah. see which yeah, which so. way it's uh, going to come down before he uh, chooses who's going to help him. But we, yes, we have we have helped Doug. So that's how we got started. We we were teamed together and we just sort of uh, we have a synergy for one thing. We do have a you synergy. know we have a we have a natural knack for we're finishing each other's sentences and we have a very similar <laughs> yeah, design yeah. sense. Very um, similar ex- style. Yeah, we walk in and we always beeline for the same exact item. Yes, Want to use it in the fabric. same way. Yeah, that mm-hmm. sort of thing. Uh-huh. These two. Yeah, and I managed. I managed the. Uh, <laughs> I worked at Fabrics and Findings for years too, and uh, Lana would and come would in come and buy in a and lot say, of stuff. Oh, stuff, I'm so. looking for, and he would. Oh, this one, Lana. So, oh my god, <laughs> really? Yeah, that's mind. exactly what I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, we had yeah, a exactly. synergy. So, uh, so yeah. we've so just worked together so well. Well, what do you guys do? I mean, most of your cu- clients, do they say, I don't know what I'm doing, do it, point and shoot? Or do they just say, I kind of got an idea? I mean, how, what's the majority of the cases if, if somebody strolls in and, or calls you guys, either one of you? I find that most people walk in and say, I need tile. Okay. okay. <laughs> Which I always say, well, you're in the yeah. perfect spot because Good. that's all we sell. <laughs> right. That's tile. That's what we sell. And then what, do you, <laughs> what kind of tile? I don't know. That's why I'm here. Okay. Uh, you know, that generally it's, they don't have an idea. And that's the nice thing about um, us there at the store is that all of us are actually degreed interior designers. Okay. So it, it's helpful so that we can at least guide them a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and coming off of that, people don't know. Say I am a homeowner. I'm in the middle of a remodeling job. I just bought a beautiful new home that I found on Property Source. And <laughs> okay. I need, need, I need my you know bathrooms need? need to be redone. need one of those little mm-hmm. bells in here. So we yeah. Can just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Sorry. Throw a dollar in the pot. <laughs> and so um, I'm walking into the store. I don't know the difference between porcelain tile, ceramic tile, terrazzo tile, marble, granite. So what's what's the number one question that people ask you when they walk into the yeah, store? Yeah, is what kind of tile do I need? What and kind this of is tile? what I'm doing with it and and, and oh. how do I how do I pick the right thing so that it, in in a year it's not cracked or broken or something like that. So Do you often 
guide people or steer them towards current trends? Because I just pop it popped into my head. I was in a in a client's house just about six months ago, and I went in there and they redid all, everything in their house in the last let's say five years. But it looked very different. And I don't want to say tacky because it's not fair. Some people's taste is different than mine. But I would, I mean, there was black tile, there was burgundy tile, there was blue light fixtures. I says, holy Christmas, this is, in my opinion, it was horrendous. At, at the risk of offending people, because that's what I do on Property <laughs> Source Radio. But do you, or do you steer, or do you steer people towards the trends oh where it's God. the, you know, the, uh, the tumbled, uh, marble? Patrick, not everybody likes chocolate ice cream. <laughs> well <laughs> put. Thank you. All right. That sums it up very well. <laughs> Different. That's why there's a million selections, right? Chris? Exactly, and you know, my personal style is not to steer anybody right. towards anything. Okay, um, and but rather to sort of glean out of of what they're telling me, okay. um, what their style is, and point them to the best selection for what they need. Okay. Um, I think I definitely send them towards the best te- technology mm-hmm. um, of the day. You okay. know, I mean, there's some there's some amazing new technologies that that make clean up easier. Um, that you never have to use. You know, there's there's grout additives and all sorts of things you can do. That you never have to do anything maintenance wise, okay. and that's what people are really looking for. Everybody's lifestyles are too busy for. Mm-hmm. Okay. So as far as guiding them towards that, you know, yeah. it's it's amazing though. People come in and they say, "I want purple tile. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want." Well, you try to find a purple tile in Rochester; it's nearly impossible. So you have uh. to sort of guide them towards something that maybe goes with purple, or you know, like that sort of mo. thing. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Yes. Do you ever have a customer that comes in and goes, "Okay, I want this and this." And you think to yourself, oh, my God, that's awful. <laughs> and you have to try and steer them away from it. Like, they're so sure that they want blue tile, the white tile backsplash. And you go, oh, right. my goodness. You know, we, this is not good. We have a lot of people that have it totally set in their mind. And generally, it's from an HTV program. Or, you know, exactly. my neighbor just put this tile in. <laughs> and I think I want the same exact tile. And I say, well, you, do you have the same countertop? Well, no. Do you have the same cabinets? Well, No. Do you like that color? Well, not really, but it looks so nice in their house. So you have to sort of recreate, you know, that look in their home, and uh, that's certainly right. possible. Gosh, there's a, there's just a million options. So. He is uh, Chris Marcotte from Best Tile. Lanatory joins us on Property Source Radio. The usual cast of characters as well. Uh, Pat's here, and Alex, of course, my name is Steve Hausman. We're here at 10. What about price? When someone says to you, this is what I want, and then you go, well, this is what it's going to cost, what happens then? Right. Well, that happens all the time. You know, mm-hmm. people really come in, and we were just talking this morning about – um, somebody coming in and saying, you know, I have a dollar, a dollar a square foot budget, and mm. I said a dollar a square foot. My really? goodness, I think I said you, I think you need paint, you know, because, <laughs> because that's about all that fits Get into on. that budget, <laughs> really, you know. Yeah. Um, luckily, you know, we have outlet center and that sort of thing, so I do have tile for eighty nine cents a square foot, you know. So it it's just limited. So if you're really on a tight budget, I can say, well, you know, you might have four options instead of fifty. Um, but possible, certainly, mm-hmm. to do um, to do budgetary things. Um, I think it's more important that they leave happy um, rather than, you know, sometimes they're, they're willing to forego the price issue if, if they walk out and they say, you know, this is just going to be exactly what I want. It's going to last. It's going to it's Oh, I, I love a client with deep pockets. I don't want to have any parameters on my end. <laughs> I would love to work with a client who says, you know what, money is a non-object in this discussion. Right. So we can pick anything out. Show me the best. So what's the best at best tile? Well, the best, I mean, certainly porcelain for your money is, is best as far as durability. Um, the new technology as far as it looks almost exactly like the natural stone, which is just amazing. Mm. Um, but it's so durable. You can put it outside. You can put it on your pat, porti- uh, patio, porch, oh. that sort of thing. You know, okay. that's really pretty amazing, the technology. Yeah, I'd it's like just, to talk more about that because yeah. it's a very interesting concept now. People are putting tile in the outdoors, outdoor spaces. Now that we're making outdoor kitchens, outdoor family rooms, oh. uh, patios, steps. What? And so you just mentioned porcelain is good, okay for outside. What other types are durable for outside with, that won't crack and heave? And you pretty know? much porcelain and natural stone are your two options for outside. Okay, so um, if I did ceramic a- certainly can't handle the freeze thaw cycle, and and in our climate, you know that's that's something we okay. really have to worry about. Our season is so short. All right, good. So if I did a countertop. Let's say I built a little thing around my grill, kitchen countertop thing. I'd want to do a porcelain tile or maybe a slate. Porcelain or, or a slate or a natural stone, stone of some sort. Pebbles are huge right now. There's oh. a lot of pebbles that come on sheets and that sort yep. of thing. So they go up a foot at a time, easy to do. Oh, that's cool. Um, a, a beautiful look, a very natural, rustic I look. I love the look of yep. pebbles. 
I, I well, know you it, have a house on the it, lake, yeah. so it's so appropriate for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of you know, it's really, it's very appropriate natural. for that look, that yep. natural, yeah. You haven't invited me out to the lake yet. Oh, well, my God. I'll be invited as soon as I'm done with it. All right, good. Which will be... Oh, oh you'll uh, never be done with it. Oh, my <laughs> you. Gosh. Just don't let me I see the basement. Bear. We'll be fine. Oh. Right. I won't judge you for your flooded basement. <laughs> I have to say what impressed me most about... I, I went out to Best Tile um, when I was redoing my kitchen and had a sample of the countertop that I had purchased. It was a granite with black in it. And I brought it in and said, okay, I have this and I want to do a tile backsplash. And whoever we were working with was so good. They they would hold up the granite to a different piece of tile and say, well, if you go with this tile, look at how this color comes out. If you go with that tile. And then looking around, they're like, oh, before you leave, you have that little room right as you come in the front door where all the, yes. the close, discounted tiles, close, t- close out tiles. T- yeah. uh-huh. Go yeah. in there and see if there's something in there you like. I mean, they, were, they weren't trying to push us to spend all our money and they were trying to get, you know, something that really would make the kitchen beautiful. Unfortunately, we ended up getting tile from uh, one of those big box stores because it was on closeout and it was like a steal. But I, we definitely were like, okay, we want this tile and that for the backsplash and all these little pieces. And they were wonderful, really. Hmm. That's good to hear. Take a quick break here. When we come back, I want to ask both you experts, Lana and uh, Chris, about some of the non-traditional places that people are using tile now. We've talked about the traditional uses, but I know there are some pretty interesting places where people are tiling up these days. When we come back, Property Source Radio, here till 10, Sports Radio 950 ESPN.